Batman was my very first uh, button down, which was wonderful with the Tommy logo, obviously. A toweling like Terry bathrobe. And I'd never had one before. At least I'd not had one like this. It was navy, it had red on it somewhere, and it was short. When I was a salesperson at Nordstrom in Walnut Creek, California, as a young kid, and I remember the rep from Tommy Hilfiger coming and doing a training, and he gave us a Tommy Hilfiger um, gym bag, and I carried that gym bag around with me for years, and I always loved it. So growing up here in New York, um, sort of an urban center, you had to have that Tommy Polo. You just had to have it. I had wealthy cousins, and they always used to come to America, and they brought me back like a white T-shirt with the logo, like a classic logo T-shirt. A navy blazer, but a little bit brighter blue, maybe a pair of yellow pants, and then putting it with a bright polo shirt. The rugby shirt, for sure. The red, white, and blue stripes. Great sweater with the big Tommy logo. It says Tommy Hilfiger Denim. Oh, it's got to be the overalls. Got to be the overalls. The sailing jackets a lot in bright colors with lots of patchwork. Pockets for one color. The hood was another color. If you wanted to be cool and get noticed <clears throat> out at night, um, you would have uh, you would have to be flashing some Tommy. Tommy's always looking around the next corner. I know I just talked to one of his mentor designers and he said, uh, you know, Tommy really pushes us to find the new spirit every season. Well, I absolutely love what Tommy is doing with this collection. It's like Tommy on steroids. Tommy's style was at the beginning. It was a very American definition of preppy. It was very recognizable to everyone. I think what you find now looking at this collection is it really a, an evolution of that idea but it's a much more global idea of what Americana is. He's really making a nod to all the big trends out there. The pajamas, the floral prints, uh, definitely like wearing the suit really casual with a pair of sandals. Tommy's ethos is that, you know, it's an idea that sort of actually has changed a lot in a way, but it's based on an idea that doesn't change. And, and I think people like men like that particularly. They like. Uh, familiar ideas, but they want freshness. Like, how much further can he go with Preppy, but he always manages to look at it differently. He always manages to find something in the culture that's relevant, apply that to his collection, and then do it his way. Tommy is kind of like Coca-Cola. He's just part of American culture, but of American lifestyle, so you can't help but love it.